What's going on, guys? Coach Matt and YougoProBaseball.com here with the man, Nick Shaw, former Brewers middle infielder and creator of the Baseball Box. It's a monthly subscription box where a box full of all types of baseball goodies is sent directly to your doorstep. You can check them out at TheBaseballBox.com. In this video, we're going to talk about the 81 swing baseball tee workout, aka the nine zone hitting drill. And we want to challenge you hitters out there to get your 81 swings in a couple times a week. And when you do, you'll hear us explain this drill here in a minute. But when you do, go ahead and tag at the baseball box on Instagram, at YouGoPro Baseball on Instagram, and let us know that you got your 81 swings in. Uh, and you're, you're putting that work in because we talked about in a video we made earlier today, hard work is essential if you want to play at the next level, whether that next level be the high school, college, or professional. So let's talk about it. This is work ethic, guys. We talked about it in a previous video. This is the work ethic it takes, right? We all, when we do T work, I think most of us put the T right down the middle in one spot. We take about 10 or 15 swings and we say, okay, we're good and wait to rotate. This is something to do at home. Right, the nine zones, you've seen it on, on ESPN, you've seen it on Baseball Tonight, hot zones, cold zones for hitters, where are the pitches coming in now, you see all this, it's important stuff. All right, so our challenge to you is, get these 81 swings in. I would do it every day, but you can do it twice a week, all right, you can do it once a week, whatever you feel, the work you need to put in to be the best player you can, put it in, all right, this is gonna help you. Now keep in mind, as we go pull side, and what this drill is, first of all, is the nine different zones, up and in, middle in, low and in, right? Middle down, middle, middle, middle up, up and away, middle away, low and away, all right? We're taking nine swings at each zone. The most important part for me as a hitter is contact point. It's not all the same contact point as we move across the plate in these zones, all right? When we're in, when we're on the inner quadrant, in our inner zone, whether we're up, middle, or down, we should be in front. Contact point should be in front of my front foot, all right? To me, it made sense to draw a diagonal line from the back corner of the plate up, even with the front corner of the plate, putting the T in front, all right? And I would follow that. So I do my swings in, or whatever order you want. We're up and in, middle in, low and in, when we go down the middle, we're right off the front of the plate. We're low, we're middle, we're up. And then lastly, as we go away, the T is getting deeper in the zone for contact point reasons. We're going down, middle, and we're going up. All right, guys, this is a true drill of testing you as a hitter. Can I manipulate the barrel? Can I get the barrel to all regions of the strike zone? Uh, now, let me ask you this. When we're going, let's say, uh, low and away, middle away, up and away, where are we trying to hit that ball? Are we trying to hit it to different parts of the field? The pitch away should go to the opposite field, all right? Driving our hands inside, trying to hit a line drive to the opposite field. Whether it's up, middle, or down, we're trying to focus on line drives the other way, all right? With some velocity, the ball will lift in a game, but really focusing on line drives, especially on the pitch, up and away, line drives to the opposite field. Now, when we're in the middle, living in the middle of the field, all right, whether it's down, middle, middle, or middle up, getting the barrel behind it, again, focusing on our line drives, our rising line drives. And as we go in, this is the one we have to be very careful with, still focusing on getting the hands inside this baseball and trying to get through the ball and have this ball fade into the gap, pull side, okay? Whether you're a lefty or a righty, we want the ball to fade into the gap, not hook towards the line. That will indicate our barrel getting around the ball, barrel committing early, and topspin hooking balls that don't carry as far as a backspun ball fading into the gap. So take this as a challenge. That's why we wanted to make this video. It was a challenge for you guys, something that you could work on on a daily basis or every other day and just gives you that, you know, maybe a little extra motivation like, hey, I'm going to get out there and get my 81 swings in. So, you know, if you, if you don't have a partner, all you need is a tee and a bucket of balls. And you can, you know, even, even if you don't have a field, hit it into a net, hit it into a fence if, you know, you're, you're, you're at a facility that lets you do that. But, you know, the bottom line is it takes a lot of hard work to be a great hitter, 
And if we can work on our swing on the tee, because the tee is a great way to work on your swing without having to include timing. So you can really work on your mechanics, your swing mechanics, you know, your, your, your swing plane, your bat path, what your hands are doing and feel, give your second, take a second in between each swing and feel what happened. If you make a bad swing, ask yourself, why? Why did I make a bad swing? Okay, let me try to make a small adjustment. Make that adjustment, see what happens. If it's a good one, try to repeat it. If it's a bad one, repeat the, the question. Ask yourself why? and so on and so forth. So that's our challenge to you. Don't forget to tag us. Check out thebaseballbox.com. Subscribe to you Pro Baseball. Uh, drop down in the comments below if you got any questions. We'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much.